because um, I have no idea how long this will take. Um, if you give me a second here, I'm going to share my screen. Um, Mr. Mayo, if you want to go ahead while I'm doing the screen share thing. Um, uh, David Maslon is in charge of the post survey. He's sending out the uh, Google Doc for you to go to to do the survey. But Mr. Mayo, if you want to sort of start us off here while I find our slideshow for okay. everyone. No that problem. would be fabulous. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's good to see you on this Thursday. And as I'm looking at the screen, I see the the uh, slideshow coming up. But I just want to thank you for a successful summer, all your hard work. Um, and after this, you can relax. Um, and I'm sure we're going to be doing this again. Um, but right now, my I take my hat off to you. Um, as I can see from the, the slideshow, you guys have done a, a great job and the kids are in store for a treat. And to the students, thank you for showing up. That is Thanks one of the it. biggest things. Um, just getting here. And hopefully you've built some relationships, long life relationships, as you heard from some of our alums who are still in, in college and out of college are still in contact. This will be you in a few years. So thank you for this summer. And here's the slideshow. All right. So on the last day of the program, we wanted to take some time to highlight the reasons we love Prep at Pingree and the special moments we've had in and out of class. Hi. Um, so first is engineering class. Um, so we did a really fun project and um, we have a shorter version clip that will play for everybody here, but check your email soon for the longer version. Okay, go ahead. Hey. Wig. Fire. Oh, it's good. All right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so reason number two is uh, Jackson 5 is no longer just an iconic musical group. So in case anyone doesn't know, I'm Jackson. I'm the student instructor for ninth grade math. And at the end of every class, Mrs. Duran would give me five minutes to blow everyone's mind using only the power of math. So I've posted one of the examples before. It's a proof that one equals two. So basically, I would use um, crazy proofs, multiplication tricks um, that can get the problem you see at the bottom. You can solve it in under three seconds. If you uh, tune into the Jackson 5, we did a lot of awesome math. And if you see the proof below, I'll let you in on the secret. I, um, if you follow the steps, they all make sense logically. You're just adding, you're squaring a, both sides by A, and then you're subtracting. But when you cancel both sides by um, A minus B, what you're really doing is dividing by A minus B. And we made the students think about this over an entire weekend. And some of them said they lost a lot of sleep because of it. But you're really dividing by zero, which is what lets you prove it. So. Yeah, it's just a little segment that I had to end math class, and it was a blast, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, yeah, that's the Jackson Five. 
Thank you. Hi guys, so my name is Sariba. Um, I helped out with eighth grade English this summer. And um, even though we didn't have any field trips, we really hope that the eighth graders decide to come back next summer so that they could experience field trips such as canoeing on the Ipswich River, hopefully not falling in the Ipswich River, <laughs> and the all important dry turkey sandwiches and Oreos, such a prep at Pingree classic. We really hope that the eighth graders really come back um, and come enjoy a little bit more of what PrEP had to offer. But again, just to reiterate what people have said, you guys have been amazing. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for bringing in the energy that made this whole summer fly by and makes the goodbye even harder. So we appreciate it and we really hope we see the eighth graders again. Um, so I don't know who's gonna start, but for history, a couple of us, um, kind of added things to this uh, slide because we really enjoyed this summer working with um, both rising eighth and the ninth graders um, in history. And for me personally, like what I loved was that uh, with my unit, I saw that students were able to take some of what we learned and actually go to their families and talk about it and experience that level of connection where we, they can talk about their like culture and history with family members and learn things that I guess wouldn't come up in normal conversations unless th these students were to like go and actually talk to their parents about it and say, hey, we're learning this in class and their parents thought it was really cool. So that's what I shared. Um, Ms. Rosario, do you wanna share what you wrote or should I read it? Um, no, I can share, absolutely. I was super inspired by my students and their ability to lean in and have really uncom uncomfortable conversations and how they were able to share um, personal experiences about um, you know, race and inequality in the U.S. and I just felt like it was really fun and we all were able to think critically about um, social justice throughout history. Good morning to eighth and ninth graders at Prepa Pingree. This is Ms. Fitzgerald. Uh, I missed you ninth graders, but I know you had an amazing summer. Our eighth graders rocked the house. We did a statistics project where we were looking at um, identifying misleading graphs, which are plenty, and how data can tell a story. Just like the power of words, um, the power of facts and statistics can back up some of the uh, most important lessons that we are, you know, thinking about as a community and as individuals. So scholars created their own presentation on a topic of choice, everything ranging from police brutality by against race to how COVID-19 has affected different age groups uh, to the environment and how deforestation has uh, led to the increase in endangered species. And students created a five slide presentation and did an incredible job breaking it down, using evidence to support their central idea and telling a story. They did a fantastic job. I wish we had more time for me to share it with you, but hopefully it inspires you to think about how you can also use data to make sure that you're telling the story and informing other people to make change in our community. Thank you. Whoop. Hey everyone, good morning. This is Ms. Hammond here. It was a pleasure to what am I? It was a pleasure to teach all of you and to share and learn from each other. Um, this summer, this year, we did, you know, we learned about many issues surrounding um, our social awareness. Um, we, we learned that housing segregation is in everything. And also looking at, of course, the recent racial injustice that have occurred and thinking about ways in which we can reform and, and, and improve on society, realizing that we all have a role to play. So again, it was a pleasure to, you know, teach all of you and just talk about these issues. And I'm looking forward to next year as well. Thank you. What's good, everybody? My name is Eric. For those who don't know me, I was the ninth grade, ninth grade A student instructor, and I also led the elective and SI option for making a podcast. So for number seven, making a whole podcast in only four weeks, like that's wild. I wanted to give a little shout out to a couple of my students, my boy Caleb, for making a podcast on the most gas food, which the link will be in the big Google Classroom for y'all to check it out. 
and a good shout out to my to um Andy Wellmerly and um Allison for making their podcast about about high school. They did a really great job, and I thank y'all for showing up for, for the Prep Out Penguin program this summer because I know it takes a lot, and y'all did a great job. Thank you, Eric. Awesome. Hi there, this is uh, David Medvitz. I work with the ninth grade students in uh, programming. We use the uh, Scratch programming environment development. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that, is cannot hear you, Dave. that is hilarious. <laughs> okay, Mr. Medvitz, no one can hear you talk right now. <laughs> oh my goodness type in the chat, in the chat. Somebody <laughs> that is so so perfect <laughs> okay everybody i hope that you really enjoyed the fact that mr medvitz is the tech man <laughs> has had tech issues. So, all right, the next slide. <laughs> all righty, so um, staff is denied. Uh, our Wednesday elective was about writing a spoken word poem. And we were really impressed by yesterday's performance for like a lot of the students that performed. And today, Monica volunteered to also perform her poem in front of all of you all. So she's gonna, read off her poem in this slide, yeah. Okay, the name of my poem is Cape Radian African American. And it was, I wrote this about my identity and my nationality. So African American, an American of African descent, knowing that washing and styling hair can sometimes leave no room for other activities in a day knowing that you ain't getting no McDonald's if you don't have McDonald's money, knowing that it's cleaning day when music plays through the, throughout the house from the big speaker, knowing the feeling of being followed around in stores, knowing the microaggressions that follow you around like annoying flies in the summer, knowing that your melanin, something out of your control, can lead to you being oppressed. It's all a part of a culture, what it means to be black in America. Like I'm told every February when a person of color that's counted for diversity points gives a speech about our history, I embrace my blackness. However, now that I've assimilated, adapted, and I found a box to put myself in, should I forget the other part? Should I stop putting a magnifying glass to the African that sits before American looking for whatever remains of Kabir? Should I let the Creole roll off my tongue and into its grave every time I simplify it to Portuguese? Should I keep including that it's the African version of Brazil, another place colonized by Portugal when trying to explain what a small country is? So I start pronouncing it St. Nicholas when I've only visited Sun and Cloud once when I was three and the accent is too foreign. While I sit in my Western house eating cachupa, I'm wondering where I'm from. The country that everybody in my house knows so well. The country that my older brother was born and raised in. The country that is so far away from me and a tourist location to my mother's co-workers in Marblehead. I sit with my cachupa, lacking McDonald's money, listening to Cesaria Efra play from the big speaker, planning an appropriate outfit to go to the store, to get let condensado to make flan and preparing to be roasted when I eat my exotic leftovers at school. Thank you. Yes, that was awesome. Here's a applause for this one. Great, great job. Very <laughs> good. That was really great. Um, whoops, did I skip a slide? No, that was good. Thank you so much, Monica. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I worked with um, the 8C students. But I just wanted to come on here and say that live or on Zoom, Private Pangree is still about the people and the lifelong friendships that are made. Um, we all hope to have gatherings or Zoom meetings throughout the school year to stay in touch. Your SIs and teachers will all miss you all dearly and we hope you have a great school year. Eighth graders, please, please, please come back next year to experience the amazingness that Private Pingree has to offer in person. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, where are my slides? All right. 
we did want to just, you know, everybody, as Kayla has said, as everyone has said, you know, this program is all about you and, um, and we absolutely love it. Uh, we think we, everybody has been amazing, but we do want to sort of give a couple of shout outs here. Um, so we're just going to go through some shout outs. Okay. <laughs> that Mr. Medvitz this morning <laughs> ended up muting himself in some way, shape or form. And everybody who was in ninth grade um, knows that their first programming class was completely canceled because Mr. Medvitz had no internet. So most likely to have met major technical difficulties goes to our tech guy. Hey, so um, this summer we, we had a little running joke in our uh, staff meeting that Jackson was always first in line to roll into our meetings together as a staff. And so we wanted to recognize the students who we found um, just kind of ended up waiting for us first in Zoom. And I think on uh, more occasions than I can count, um, Natifa was one of the early logins. So shout out to Natifa for rolling into class on time and keeping me on time myself. <laughs> And just going off what Ms. Duran said, same for me. I think Anthony in history was just always in the waiting room before I even <laughs> opened up the Zoom meeting link. Um, definitely a leader in 8A, both showing up on time and in participation. Uh, this, is, uh, this is to Wilbur. Um, one of the things that Wilbur said uh, in the beginning of advisory, he was like, uh, he declared, I am not leaving my bed for the entirety of this summer. Uh, and he completed it a uh, full test. Not only was he able to stay in the comfort of his bed, but he would still be able to be an excellent student, uh, constantly uh, participating, sharing his voice and uplifting his, uh, his fellow peers. So this award goes to Wilbur for being an excellent student, all from the comfort of his own bed. <laughs> This award for attitude goes out to Wilmerly, who is an overall outstanding, phenomenal student, showed up to every class on time, ready, asked great questions, completed all of her classwork. Uh, those of you in English 9 know there was a lot of work assigned and she did every assignment carefully and thoughtfully. So huge shout out to you, Wilmerly. You are outstanding. Um, yeah, and so similarly, uh, we want to recognize Jaslyn, who was also a really great student in all of her classes, but also in um, our engineering elective. And she similarly, like while there are all these different assignments, she would always turn them in um, and she would go above and beyond on all of them. She was great. She would always participate in class and ask those essential questions <laughs> that needed to be asked that would help everybody else out at the same time. So we really appreciate her for that. All these 8C kids too, Jaslyn and Sophia. Um, Sophia, just like Jaslyn, um, came to class every single day, smile on their face, did every um, assignment, and that deserves a round of applause. It's not easy. Great job, you two. And another 8C rock star, <laughs> also always like determined and committed to not only the Pingree schedule, but his routines, like whether it was getting his son outdoors and still being in class, making sure he was finishing up his lunch, missed no meals. I know times when Michael was just like, could like pop in and ask a question and was super committed to class, but then would mute himself and just finish whatever <laughs> snack or lunch he was um, getting to around that time. So very nice um, attitude is everything award for Michael too. So shout out to with Marie, uh, winning the attitude is everything kind of uh, award nomination, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, she always showed up early to advisory she was always like there before me and you she was always in a great mood always kind of you know kept the vibes flowing I guess you could say and word on the street is you, she was also just 
incredible in class as well. So great job, Swiss Marie. This next award is for Bianca. Um, she is one of the ideal examples of an exemplary student and it's because she participates, asks questions, is always ready for class, completes her work early, and plays a big role in class with a smile on her face. Um, I know it made my days easier knowing I was gonna wake up to her happy attitude. So I just wanna give the Attitude is Everything Award to Bianca because she did that. Hey, so another uh, huge thing that we wanted to recognize is the variety of ways that we saw students participate this summer. Um, and one of the things I noticed that it, I, I love slash learned so much from was just watching the engagement, not just in person, unmuting and chatting, but also throwing things in the Zoom chat. I see it here now, but one of the chattiest chatters in math class this summer was Brian Ramos, um, aka The Brain. And um, yeah, he just crushed it, throwing in some key ideas in there. And Stacy, if you wanna go to the next one, we also had Rufino Perez throwing in some really uh, critical chatty chats for us. So thank you guys for participating. Wilver, when it sound broke, people just throwing in what they can do in the chat in person. Love the participation engagement. You guys are awesome. Um, to keep going with that note on chattiest chatter, um, I think overall the chattiest class was sort of 8B, and I know Jason can speak to that. But um, in 8B, there was one name that just kept popping up, and that was Elisa. So Elisa, thank you so much for all your participation in the chat, the jokes that popped up occasionally. We appreciate you and love hearing from you. There she is right there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my, my bad. Hello. Okay, so this is the voice is an award presented to students who are doing a good job sharing and speaking truth in class. So Javian is my advisee and ever since the first advisory, I knew he would be the one to save me from awkward silences. Um, in classes, he was always the first to raise his hand and always presented a new idea um, to further the conversation. And although sometimes we had to pick around him because he was speaking the most out of any student, um, we really appreciated his participation and engagement and ideas. So yeah, thank you, Javian. Next up for the same award is Noe Aguilar. Uh, Noe was a really awesome student in class. Not only was he very confident and confident in what he said, but he wasn't afraid to share his own personal perspectives uh, to add depth to the conversation and not just relate directly to the text, but to let people know about him as well. Um, and he was always one of those students that, you know, the same thing, if there's an awkward silence in class, uh, I could count on Noe to sort of be able to raise his hand and, and add depth to the conversation. So thank you for that and congratulations. And for the same award too is also Jesus, a juice. Um, not only did you do the same thing in class, but you also did an advisory, um, calm, cool, and collected, but you were never afraid to speak up and share your voice, um, where, whether it was about the text, whether it was about sort of answering questions or sort of just adding help to the teacher when they're kind of looking at you guys and playing the who's gonna speak first game. Um, you were a fantastic advisee and an amazing student. So congratulations, Juice, and stay fresh. Alan. From the Beast section of 9A, the Renaissance Award will be presented to my girl Precious for being curious, having a strong thirst for knowledge and self-discipline. Self She's always asking questions, always present, and she always comes in with a curious mindset. So we awarding this award to my girl Precious. Good job, girl. Um, this person really needs no introduction. We all saw her speak earlier. She's just um, an amazing student across the board perfect for the Renaissance Award <clears throat> because she's just so strong in all her subjects. Every teacher was so impressed that she was vital in their class and just did such a good job turning in her work and participating and just being a very good student across the board. So no better candidate for the Renaissance Award than Monica de Oliveira. Um, and continuing off of that, Michael, again, not only was he committed to our classes and his routine, he was always curious, asking questions during our lesson. Um, you can tell he actually was really intrigued by what we were learning and just wanted to know more, even if it wasn't included in my slides or, or the PowerPoint that day. Um, he always had questions that would just expand on our conversations in class and kept students kind of on their toes because he would just always bring it back. So nice job, Michael.
This award goes out to Allison, Allison Duran Duran. She was a phenomenal student um, in English class, as well as in her other sections. Always on point, always participating, always doing what was asked of her at all times, and always offering her unique perspective in discussion. All right, same award, the three C's hailing for the eighth grader, Joni, Joni Alley. Sorry if I butchered your name. You are connected. <laughs> oh, Denali, my bad, my bad. You're connected, collaborative, and creative classroom work is being recognized, being the big boss. Good job. Can I add to that, Eric? Hold on. Janile was not always the one pick, but she was always ready. Like, we even had to go around her, basically, because she was always participating, always ready to insert, um, whether it was to read something or to add her two cents to a conversation. So nice job, Janile, on that. <laughs> All right, so this award goes out to Sam. Uh, Sam in English class is an amazing multitasker, able to be in the breakout room, but also having conversations with his family while also simultaneously typing in the Google Slides document. I wish that I can learn from him because he is a great multitasker. So one of the other qualities we wanted to recognize in students this summer um, is asking questions, seeking help, and just being a strong self-advocate. Uh, it's not easy connecting on Zoom. It's not easy even finding links to things. I know one of our early meetings, I had no idea where I was going. Um, and so shout out to Ramatula for asking for that help when she needed it, for looking um, to her advisors, teachers, whoever, and um, taking advantage of all those opportunities to get her questions answered. So keep it up, Ramatula, and all you guys who had so many great questions this summer. Beautiful. Alrighty, so we wanted to recognize some students for each class, and in our engineering class, Ashley and I uh, wanted to give a shout out to Stephanie and Jaslyn uh, for being phenomenal this summer. Uh, so Stephanie, as you saw in the video, she made her whole project by herself um, and it was really phenomenal. Uh, and Jaslyn was always participating in class and always um, turning assignments on time. So we wanted to give shout outs to these two lovely students. Miss you, do you want to go or should I? Um, you, you can go on this one, Jasmine. Okay, so for history, we chose Zamari and Ashley um, because they were always ready to participate and engage with the curriculum, whether it be through sharing their own personal experience, um, reading for us when we asked for somebody to read aloud, um, connecting it to what they've heard from their parents or um, other family members. We just really enjoyed having you in the class and your insights um, on our topic of conversation, whatever it be. So thank you. And for, and for social awareness, um, we have Bianca and actually Liz Collin and you both um, were so thoughtful you you were able to connect ideas and what we were discussing to real life and real life and situations and I actually I learned a lot from you both so good job um, it was great having you all in class hey and this is just a shout out to Anna she was top of the podium in our uh, final Kahoot in on um, Tuesday for 9B, 9A, get ready to cahoot it up today in our class. Um, but Anna was just awesome all summer, had some key ideas and um, very impressive because I'm pretty sure she's a great ahead too. So um, keep crushing it, awesome. And the English award goes to Angie. Um, Angie did an amazing job this summer participating, completing all of her work and I can't wait to read your final task. Great job, Angie. Thank you, well done. All right, and our certificate of excellence for perfect attendance goes to these amazing students that we've had over the summer. Um, I'll read off the names really quickly to give each of them their recognition, but um, we had great attendance overall. Over 80% of our students came just about every day, but these are students that made that 100%. So we have Khadija, Zamari, Caleb, Fatma, Zeno, Bianca, Elisa, 
Jaslyn, Michael, Sophia, Janali, Ashley, Trinity, Anthony, Ephraim, Angelina, Monica, Rufino, Jesus, Jesus, or Jesus, Allison, uh, Jos Josniel, and Wismari. Sorry if I butchered anybody's names, but congratulations and thank you for your perfect attendance. It was nice to see your faces every day. The whole program is really, um, it, it's really special and it's really special because you guys are really special. And I say that to the kids, I say that to um, the faculty and I say that to the student instructors. I, you know, I feel like I'm really the behind the scenes person. Um, so I thank you for letting me into your classes and letting me share. Um, but really, um, July is one of my favorite months because you are so awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> That's Loretta playing the music, I think. Who is that? That is I. Oh, with Loretta. Okay, everybody, it's our last day. Um, I wish you the best of luck next year in school. Um, have a great day today. Um, for prep, we'll write a stop. Oh. <laughs> Any announcements? Let me stop sharing and then we can, if anybody has an announcement or anything that needs to, to be said, um, really you guys were remarkable. Um, it, was, it was an impressive, impressive month. So thank you so, so much. Anybody have any final announcements for the, for the whole group? We've got advisory next. We've got advisory next. Okay. All right. Let's everybody. Do we clap. think we're going to start class on time? Well, I don't know. Advisory is just a couple little announcements, right, guys? Yeah. And yeah. the survey? Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Congratulations, we guys. All right. Clapping to everybody and thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> Have a great day. We get to meet the Bye. mayor this afternoon. All right. See you in class. See you in class. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well done.